going to just dunk it in. And again, I have a standardized method. So for me, I'm going to say I want this at, at one dip. So this is uh, like a, a reddish amber Timaku type glaze. So I dip it in one, two, three. And then I can I have kind of two options. I can swirl this around until it's done. I can just let it go and you'll see that it forms these kind of drips on the side. Sometimes it's really nice, uh, especially if you're firing in a cone six atmosphere where things tend to come out how they look. You know, there's there's no atmosphere in an oxidation kiln. So there's no nothing affecting your results. How you glaze is most like is is close to how it's gonna come out closer. So if you glaze sloppy and you have a glaze that really shows these drips, then those are going to show. And if, if you don't like that, then your other option, what I do is I just have a sponge over here and I'll dip it to my three seconds. And I kind of let it sit at one point and it'll, it'll float a drip. It's hard to see. And I just tap that drip. And then I don't really have a running line because that drip was was tapped off. Sometimes there's a little uneven spot and you can just kind of smooth that. But now I have a perfect application. And it all came down to there was just a little excess glaze and I tapped it. So Such I always just tip. do that. <laughs> huh? Such a good tip. <laughs> it's it's like one of those silly things. Some potter, I you know, potters are like one or the other, I feel like. And Half of the half of you in the audience are like scowling at like that's silly, <laughs> and the other half are like, "Oh my god, I hated that drip." Yeah, <laughs> <You know? laughs> 